Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for NiCO3 plus HNO3. This is nickel to carbonate, and then we have nitric acid here, a strong acid. So the first thing we need to do with these net ionic equations, balance the molecular equation. It looks like all I need to do is put a two in front of the HNO3, and that should balance everything. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now I can write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. Carbonates in general, they're insoluble. So this is gonna be a solid nitric acid, strong acid. So this will be aqueous. Nitrates, very soluble, aqueous. And then we have carbon dioxide as a gas. Water is a gas, this will probably generate some heat, but if not, you could call it a liquid. Really won't change our net ionic equation very much. Once we have the states, now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That's gonna give us the complete ionic equation, and that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that we don't split solids apart, so we left this nickel two carbonate together, and we don't split gases apart either. So we kept our CO2 here and our H2O together in our net ionic equation. So now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. The only thing that's in the reactants and the products that's the same, that are these two nitrate ions. We have them here in the reactants and here again in the products. Those are spectator ions. We'll cross those out. And that gives us the net ionic equation for NiCO3 plus HNO3. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for nickel carbonate, nickel two carbonate, and this nitric acid. If you take a look, the charge is the same on both sides. We have a two times one plus here, that's two plus. And then in the products, we have two plus. So charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NiCO3 plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.